I don't know if it's a perfect day for margaritas. Every day is probably a good day for margaritas. And I think that it's a good day for margaritas. You I, have enough margaritas, they'll warm you up. I was say the, food, the hot sauce, maybe there that'll you go. Yeah, warm there you, you go. Up. Yeah. But it's, it's not bad. Smile. It's, it's not. We're starting to see improvement, mm -hmm. so we, you know, we can at least <laughs> hold our hat on that. So it's brisk, uh, but definitely better. We have some gusty winds in store for us over the course of the next few days. So yesterday was pretty breezy, really putting a bite in the air. The winds have shifted though from the northwest from yesterday to the southwest today. So that brings in some milder conditions and it doesn't feel as bitterly cold, but we hold on to the gusty conditions going into the weekend. There is a slight chance for some rain this weekend. I'm not putting all my eggs in that basket for Sunday because I really think that the more widespread rain will arrive later Monday. But nonetheless, I want you to be prepared for maybe a possible shower, especially for the second part of the weekend. Slow, gradual warm up in store. So let's break down the numbers starting with yesterday and I'm sharing this not just because it's behind us, but I want to compare to where we are right now. So yesterday's high was 44, our lowest temperature, oof, 26. Now the record high was 81 back in 1950. Of course, we were nowhere near there, but we were about 10 degrees below average. Once again, the high yesterday was 44, but look where Port Huron and Monroe are at noon today, 45 and 46. So we're already exceeding that temperature in some locations. Detroit at 42, how 42. This is a live look at Mount Clemens where it is pretty cloudy out there, but it's breezy. That southwesterly wind sustained around 15 miles per hour, gusting around 25. So it does factor into a little bit of a wind chill. 48 is the forecasted high for today, so we're seeing that improvement going in the afternoon. This will be the last day for a stretch of days where we top out in the 40s because we welcome back the 50s tomorrow. But overall, today is dry. Clouds stick around tonight, and because of that cloud cover, southwesterly flow of wind, it will not be as chilly. Still cool, but 38 degrees will be the coolest temperature we wake up to tomorrow morning as you get closer to the city. 54 tomorrow for the afternoon. High, so windy and warmer, but the gusts could be around 30 miles per hour come tomorrow. So if it's trash night tonight, come tomorrow afternoon. Once those bins are cleared out, you might be looking for at least the lid that could go flying. Clouds and radar forecast, so Friday shapes up to be pretty dry. We could get maybe a little passing shower up into the thumb, but I think that overall Saturday is mainly dry too. It's this cold front that we're tracking going into Sunday morning before we even see the sunrise that has some showers that could pass through the area, but we spend most of the daylight hours dry on Sunday. So that's why I said I don't put all my eggs in that basket because it's not as impactful as what will arrive on Monday. So around five o'clock or so, at least the latest timing with this shows that those widespread showers roll in with that low pressure system. Maybe even Tuesday morning up towards Alpena, you could see a little bit of a wintry mix, but not necessarily here in southeastern Michigan, though temperatures will be falling in the wake of that cold front. So your weekend forecast mid to maybe even upper 50s. So that means Saturday's pretty seasonal, still a little breezy, but mainly dry. We bump up just a little bit above average with a chance for those showers Sunday, but overall cloudy. However, you're gaining an hour of sleep on Sunday. So we do fall back this weekend. We turn back the clocks Saturday night before you go to bed. Good reminder to check the batteries and the smoke detector. Your carbon monoxide detector also change the furnace filter and that sun will be setting just after five once we change those clocks. But we welcome back the low 60s Monday before before that cool down will uh, occur going in the middle of next week.